Want to know the best way to kill outlaw rogues? Don't even try. Okay, well, maybe it's a bit more complicated than that. But that's why we're here. Today, we will go over the major mistakes people are making against Outlaw Rogues. We will highlight some of the key offensive and defensive pitfalls that we see in this new meta. And hopefully by the end of it, you will understand what the hell is actually going on when you play against these role-playing pirates. So stay tuned as we show you how to counter Outlaw Rogues in Shadowlands Season 3. But before we get into it, we wanted to personally thank you for watching this video. So we're offering a discount link below if you wanted to try skillcap.com. Stay tuned until the end of the video to learn more about our website and all of our sweet member perks. Starting things off, we have to address the elephant in the room. That outlaw rogues aren't really that popular. You might be seeing them all over the place in the AWC and at the highest end of the arena ladder, but generally speaking, other melee specs are significantly more popular above 1800. So why are so many pros picking it in tournaments? Well, that is what we're about to discuss. The advantage of outlaw is that it is really hard to kill, and in tournaments where nerves are much higher and money is on the line, outlaw is seen as a safer pick to subtlety, which despite being really great offensively, can be really easy to kill for some comps. Not to mention the fact that having an outlaw rogue in your party makes your team nearly immortal, so you can kind of understand why tournament players are picking it up. With all of this in mind, let's see how you need to adjust your gameplay to deal with these new pests. We will start by going over what you need to do defensively against any outlaw rogue. For one, you need to realize that their attack range is 3 yards more than other melee due to a talent called Acrobatic Strikes. While this might not seem like a big deal, this means their kick and kidney shot range goes up to 8 yards, which you will have to keep in mind if you are trying to fake their casts. And even if you do manage to fake kicks, you need to play around gouge. Yes, the iconic rogue ability is outlaw exclusive, and if you aren't used to playing against it in the past, there are a few things you should be aware of. For one, it's an incapacitate, which means it will break on damage and shares DR with sap. But unlike other melee abilities, it can only be used if the target is facing the rogue. What that means is that you can spin your character while casting to avoid getting interrupted if you already got kick out of the way. Once again though, you need to keep in mind that its range will be extended thanks to acrobatic strikes. And as a healer, you need to pay even more attention to outlaw range since they can blind targets up to 30 yards away thanks to blinding powder, while also reducing its cooldown to 90 seconds. What this means is that trying to use immunities like Holy Ward, Fleshcraft, or even Blessing of Sacrifice to counter blind, you need to account for its 30 yard range and disjointed cooldown. Paying more attention to the direction the rogue is moving can help. If you see them sprinting across the map with blind available, that can indicate that they want to press it, so be ready to use your immunities once they are roughly 30 yards away. The other unique part about Outlaw is its cooldown reduction, which comes in multiple forms. One of them is their primary legendary called Invigorating Shadow Dust, which lowers all CDs by 20 seconds whenever Vanish is used. This CDR includes both Kidney Shot and Kick, meaning that even if you survive a stun or juke a kick, a quick Vanish can be used to follow up or cross CC. And in some cases, Vanish will be used to land a second kick within the same interrupt window by entirely resetting its CD. That isn't the only cooldown reduction Outlaw has, and a huge part of their CDR comes from Roll the Bones. The two most important buffs this ability generates are are True Bearing and Broadside. True Bearing gives cooldown reduction on multiple spells every time combo points are spent, and Broadside is a flat DPS increase to their combo point builders. It's possible for the Outlaw Rogue to proc multiple buffs at the same time, and these two should be monitored specifically in order to anticipate incoming pressure. And as far as damage spikes are concerned, you also need to watch out for Echoing Reprimand. You are probably used to this ability by now after playing in the Kyrian Sub Rogue. It's twice as powerful for Outlaw, because the Kyrian Empowered combo will give them 7 seconds of cooldown reduction with Restless Blades and True Bearing. So not only will it deal 7 point dispatches, it will be resetting CDs by 7 seconds. And on a final defensive note, be sure to monitor Blade Flurry. Going off the tooltip alone, you might not think this ability matters at all. I mean, who cares about some extra AoE damage? But if you do a bit of digging, Blade Flurry damage has a 1.25 PvP modifier, bringing its total damage up to 75% of normal attacks. This isn't even considering the fact that Blade Flurry damage also goes through some immunities, which we covered in a recent short. So when you see a Blade Flurry active, make sure you aren't stacking with your team, or else your healer will have a much more difficult time keeping everyone up. So now you know what to do defensively against outlaw rogues, how can you punish them on offense? Well, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, you generally don't want to train the outlaw rogue if at all possible. This is due mostly to their cooldown reduction, which affects both evasion and feint with the float like a butterfly PvP talent. 
On top of that, they will have 15% additional stamina, which buffs Kyrian Potions and Crimson Vial to survive even if their healer is CC'd. But what if you are super committed to killing the rogue? Well, there are a few things you need to consider. For one, don't attack with melee into evasion. This is due to the prepared for all conduit, which of course is available for every rogue spec, but is nearly twice as effective as outlaw since they have a reduced evasion cooldown already. By the time the clip in the background is finished, Trill will have used evasion three times within a 30 second window. Yeah, that's right, he was able to use a two minute cooldown three separate times in just 30 seconds due to cooldown reduction. And as a final note, when an outlaw rogue dodges with evasion, they will strike back to this outlaw exclusive passive. So really there's no good reason to ever attack into this CD unless they are stunned. Outlaw rogues can die, but their passive tankiness and reduced cooldowns make that a really difficult task. Your best chance at landing the kill is to catch them with without a trinket while having as much burst damage as possible to kill them in a stun. Outside of that, they need to be treated almost like a pseudo healer. If you want to kill their partner, we highly recommend cross CCing the rogue on kill attempts. With gouge, kidney, blind, and dismantle as available peels, outlaw is well equipped to shut down kill attempts. So just keep all of these in mind before you truly commit to the kill. But we want to know what you think. Are there any other tips you have found for dealing with outlaw rogues? Let us know in the comments below and maybe we will feature it in a future update. And as a reminder, we have a discount link in the video description in case you want to gain over 250 rating this season at skillcap.com. For only $4.99 a month, you get instant access to over 2,000 premium quality videos, which includes over 500 class guides designed by pro players, as well as over 1,000 arena commentaries, which break down your toughest matchups step by step. Joining today will get you an invite to the premium section of our Discord, which includes access to a team of pro players who are always available to answer your questions. Every season, we see hundreds of views achieve their goals and get the rating they've always wanted and you could be next so what are you waiting for join over half a million lifetime users in the best learning experience wow has to offer gain 250 rating risk-free at skillcap.com slash wow discount link below all right guys that about wraps it up for this one let us know if you would like us to make this type of video into a series is there another class we should show how to counter let us know in the comments below and as always thanks for watching see you soon